Hey, hi everyone, my name is TTJ Kepsi Richard. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today, our discussion will be on implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation. So, remember the normal equations you know is this. Maybe y equal to 3x squared plus 4s plus less than 6. So, this y is expressed in terms of x. So, we say this is an explicit function. Explicit. How does the implicit comes in? The implicit comes in when the dependent variable is not expressed in terms of s. For instance, s square y plus 2sy plus 4y may be equal to 2s. You see that it's not being expressed in terms of the x. Then this becomes an implicit function. Implicit function. You need some tools to be able to know how to differentiate implicit functions correctly. So wait, I'll take you through that. Then we'll learn how to differentiate uh, implicit functions with two examples. After that, we'll look at the application, uh, the application of uh, implicit differentiation. That's to prove an expression. We'll use it to prove an expression for you to understand. So watch the video till the end. So, I want to show you how to do the differentiation of y as implicit. Okay, so you remember y is maybe if y is dependent, is dependent. How to differentiate? So if you differentiate to y, remember it's linear, so you get to you attach the y by the s to it because it's the dependent variable. Then when you differentiate y square, you get to y. What do you do? You attach the y by the s to it. Very, very important. Take note of this. It will help us when we are doing the differentiation for you to understand. Also, if we have a product like this, x, y, x, y. What we do? We use product rule. Product rule. Remember product rule? V, the u over the x plus u, the v over the x. What are we doing? We keep v, differentiate u, plus we keep u, differentiate v. So this one, that's what we are going to do. We keep x, differentiate y, and keep y, differentiate x. So now let's go, x, y. So when differentiate x is 1, so 1 times our y. Plus, now we keep the x and differentiate y. When differentiate y, it will go dy over ds. When we differentiate it, it's 1. So that will be 1 times dy over ds. Remember, we said we attach dy over ds to it. This and this will help us to do implicit differentiation very, very well. So please come with me. Okay, so we say if x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 2x, find dy over dx. You see that the y is not being expressed in terms of the x. So we use implicit differentiation. To differentiate this. So let's repeat the expression equal to 2x. So when differentiate this, remember we get 2x. Then this is product, remember. So we keep 1 differentiate the other. So when we keep 2x and differentiate y, we we'll get dy over dx plus product root. Now we'll keep our y and differentiate 2x, we get 2. So we attach uh, to, uh, the y to it to become 2y. Then when we differentiate this, we get 2y. Then we attach the y over the s to it. Then when we differentiate a linear term, it's just a coefficient of the variable. Now what we do, we group like this. Those that have with dy over the s, we bring them together. So we get 2x dy over the s plus 2y, 2y, dy over ds is equal to 2. We subtract this, we send it to the other side minus 2x. 
So what is common? You see that dy over ds is common. So we factor it out. dy over ds out, get 2s plus 2y is equal to 2 minus 2y minus 2x. So we make dy over ds the subject. Or we divide both sides by 2s over uh, 2s plus 2y. So dy over ds is equal to 2 into uh, 2 minus 2y minus 2x all over 2x plus 2 You can still factor out 2 out because it's common 2 out of 1 minus y minus x. Here to 2 is common, so 2 out, then x plus y. Finally, the 2 divide 2. So we have our dy over ds as 1 minus y minus x all over x plus y. This becomes our gradient function of this curve. I hope you understand that. I'll solve one more question, then we take it from there. So, there's a question here. Find the over ds if s creep plus y creep is equal to 6xy. This question is University of Kepos, the Assembly Terminal Exam question. And we'll try to use implicit differentiation to do that. So, we have s creep plus y creep is equal to 6xy. So what we do, we differentiate this, we get 3s squared. Then we differentiate this, we get 3y squared. Remember to attach it to it because it's the dependent variable. It's equal to, this is product, remember. So keep x, so since we keep the 6s and differentiate the y. So we get dy over dx plus, now we keep y, we differentiate 6s, we get 6. So this y. What do you do? We group like terms. So we have three y square dy over dx minus six x dy over dx is equal to six y minus our three x. So what do we do? We factor out our dy over dx. What we have? We have 3y squared minus 6x equal to 6y minus 3x squared. So we divide both sides by 3y squared minus 6x. So we have our dy over ds equal to 6y minus 3x squared all over 3y squared minus 6x. We can factor out again because 3 is a factor of 6. So we bring 3 out here. Yeah? We factor our 3. What we do? We will get 2y minus s squared. 3 is common. We factor it out. We get y squared minus x. So the 3 will divide 3. Finally, our dy over dx will be equal to 2y minus s squared all over y squared minus x. This becomes the gradient function of this step. I hope you understand very well. Pause the video or play back the video to get a concept very how to do implicit differentiation. I'll solve one more question on the application, how to apply implicit differentiation in proving certain expressions for you to get the concept. So we realize, I realize that there is a problem here too in a, in factoring out our expression so this place is 3y squared minus 6x 3y squared minus 6x so when we factor our 3 here we'll get 2y minus x squared when we factor our 3 here we'll get y squared minus 2x 2x yes so we have 2y minus x squared so this place will also be 2x Yes, we call it 3 divided 3. I hope you get it now. Remember, uh, knowledge is like a bow battery, one hand cannot embrace it. So, if you identify mistakes in these things, please draw my attention. That will help me make a better video. I'll solve one more question on it and we'll take it from there. So, 
we continue. This is an assignment a friend sent to me uh, that I will show. So if y is equal to ax plus b over x squared, prove that x squared d squared over dx squared plus 4x divided by dx plus 2y equal to 0. So we use implicit differentiation. Don't try to differentiate using product, uh, using quotient. It won't work. So we have y is equal to ax plus b over x squared. What do we do? We multiply both sides by x squared. So we have x squared y is equal to ax plus b. So this becomes product. So we use product rule to differentiate. So we we'll keep the x squared and differentiate y. Get x squared divided by dx plus. Now we we'll keep y and differentiate x squared. So we we'll get two x y is equal to. This is a linear term. The differential is the coefficient of the variable. Then this is a constant. The differential is zero. That's the first derivative. Now we differentiate again because we have second derivative. There is a video on further derivative. Check it so that you can understand this very well. So I want to differentiate this. We get 2x. So we differentiate x squared to get 2x. We attach our derivative dx. Plus, now what do we keep? Now we we'll keep our x squared and differentiate derivative dx. So we get d square y over dx squared plus now this is product again this is product so we we'll keep 2s and differentiate y we we'll get dy over dx plus now we we'll keep our y and differentiate 2s so we we'll get 2y then remember the differentiation of the constant is zero what do we do now we group like terms. So what we have now x squared d square y over dx squared plus 2s d y over dx plus 2x d y over dx plus 2y is equal to 0. So we have our x squared d square y over dx squared. Look at this. These are like terms, so we can add them to get 4x divided by dx plus our 2y is equal to 0. So as required. So we have proved this. What the has to prove? Please try to go over the video so that you understand. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So anytime I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Bye-bye.